Fantasy Bits. Fantasy Bits. Here we go. Let's talk about the rookie receiver class. Now that we've had just a little taste of what's going on in the preseason, check out the names over at FantasyPros.com. The rookies, the pass catchers. Jordan Addison is ranked number one as a rookie receiver right now, and that's perfect. Mwah. Leave it there. It's how it should be. He's already the clear number two option. He's got the role. He's got the best situation. Are you kidding me? It's Justin Jefferson drawing attention. It's amazing. Jackson Smith and Jigba right on his heels. Both guys going ahead of George Pickens and Brandon Cooks. And then... Then you find your value in Quentin Johnson and Zay Flowers at 46-47. Jonathan Mingo at 78. I got to say this when I'm looking at it. Quentin Johnson is the absolute sleeper of the bunch. I take him, I'm going to say I've taken second to Jordan Addison, okay? He's a first rounder. He flashed his potential. You're looking at the touchdown he scored right before halftime. He's 6'3". 6'3", he's got Justin Herbert, he's got the athleticism, and he has an insanely high ceiling. And being around a Keenan Allen, a, the, the leader on this team, it's going to help him clean things up, little details, he'll develop. Just listen to what these boys told me about the Rookster. Uh, explosive. Very, very explosive. Uh, quick off the ball, fast. Athletic. The same thing as explosive? Kind of. So I know you're thinking, well, Keenan's there, and Mike Williams are there, and that could limit his targets at times. Kellen Moore is going to let Justin Herbert let it rip. Also, Kellen, you know, Kellen Moore used three wide receiver sets, fifth most of any offensive coordinator in the league over the past four years. There are going to be plenty of opportunities for Quentin to get the ball. And two, I, we hope it doesn't happen, but there is an injury history when it comes to a Keenan and a Mike. Maybe they missed a couple of games, a handful, one or the other, and they have missed 17 games the last three years. So that sort of points to potentially some more option and opportunity for Quentin as well. So there's a clearer path, in my opinion, for Johnston to get targets consistently than like a Jackson Smith and Jigba, who we love. But that's a run-heavy offense in Seattle, okay? Besides Metcalf and Locke. And I know Austin Eckler catches the rocket ton, I know. But I just have a feeling, based off what I'm hearing, based off what Brandon Staley had to say, based off what Darius Butler said today, we like all of these rookies. Zay Flowers, I also like. I just feel like the, the place to get the ton of the targets funneled, even though it's going to be a deep offense and they've got a lot of talent, is going to be my guy. So outside of Jordan Addison, I am taking Quentin Johnson.